Satan knows his facts. He knows them well. And he knows exactly how to distort the facts. In fact, the Bible said that Satan believes in Jesus and he trembles at the sound of the name of Jesus. Every time I think of how our society is blindly heading into the abyss, I think of that Bedouin who was in the Arabian desert, who woke up in the middle of the night in his tent and was hungry. And the only thing he had in that tent was a bunch of dates. So he lit a candle, and he began to eat the dates. And as he looked at the first one close to the flame of that candle, he noticed there's a big worm just coming out of the date. So he threw it out. Picked a second one, looked again at the light of the candle and saw the wor another worm, big worm. He tossed it out. A third date, tossed it out. And then he began to reason. He's hungry. If he's going to see those worms in every date that he is going to uh, try to eat, destroy it out, he's going to go about hungry. So he decided to blow out the candle <laughs> and eat the dates. Worm and all. You see, there are so many people around us like that. And some, when you share the gospel, the truth, the facts, the evidence with them, uh, they will respond with all sorts of false information. I've made a list through the years, and I won't give you the whole list, but through the years, and I, I've heard it all. Is, isn't it the Bible really is a bunch of myth? Um, isn't there a dispute between religion and science? Hasn't science really disproved religion? Uh, isn't God is just so vast to allow one true religion? And on and on and on. And in the series of messages, we have been dealing with this indisputable truth. In the last message we saw, the first proof was the unity of the Bible. 1,600 years from the beginning, the first writer to the last writer, and all varieties of people, varieties of time, variety of places, and yet the, the whole th book tells the same story. Most of the so-called sacred writings of all these other religions is a bunch of hodgepodge of contradictory statements and philosophical mumbo-jumbo. Anybody can make a claim. Anyone can say that I'm a messenger of God. But the one true God told us who He is. And in Genesis 3.15, as we have been seeing throughout the series of messages, from the very beginning, God promised Adam and Eve that His Son is going to come in a, in a bodily form, and when He comes, He's going to crush Satan's head. And that's exactly what Jesus did right on God's schedule. He died on a cross and rose again on the third day, and thus crushing Satan's head. But that's not all.